Oh, what up? In this episode, we are going to learn how to flame tank. So, this will work on pretty much any map. So, what you want to do is grab your two spikes or one spike on the map. Yet again, it doesn't matter. This will work on pretty much it's the same thing any map. So, we can do any map here. So, grab your one or two spikes on these, on these maps. Now, the goal here is to anti-scout. Uh, I highly advise not to do this against nod factions, really. So this work, this works great against Scrin, um, any GDI and any Scrin. Maybe not Traveller so much if they have Coltis, but if you can get it out before they get Coltis, you can still do it. So it's good against any Scrin, really, and any any GDI. It's just not that great against. Um, yeah, against nods because they have bikes. So scout here. So you always want to do the anti-scout. So you want to look at the ways they're coming through. Have a turret ready. So war factory down. Straight away operation center. Second harvester. Get the second harvester. No other scouts apart from cabals. So you just want cabals all around the map. No matter what map it is, you just want to keep anti-scouting. Uh, Obviously this is against AI first, like always. And then against real player. Upgrade the power plant. And then second harvester, nothing but flame tanks for a bit. And now you can move your MCV straight away like this, even if they scout it. Don't stop, even if they scout it, by the way. Just keep going and kill the scout in your base. So move your MCV, because we have the upgraded power plant, we can move our MCV. Bring the Cabal back home if we bring it back. First flame tank, you want to send to the corner of the map here, like this. And you go in here. I've got my scroll speed on slow at the moment. Uh, second flame tank, you want to send it over here, um, you always want to go to the left and right side at the start of the game. Um, one more flame tank, so three flame tanks, and then a Reckoner. And then one more Reckoner, and then one more Harvester behind this. So this is, and then you have three flame tanks, hot key one, two and three. Send that to the middle, this will be the bait one, sell the Reckoner. Just one flame in it, and you send that to the top left or bottom right, it doesn't matter. One more one more harvester, and you start building a refinery as well. Because now, once you have all this, you want to go straight back into economy. Because this might not work, but this is how you flame tank rush with black hand every single time. You send this up here, and that's probably dead. This gets scouted, and he's fighting this. Maybe this one gets scouted, and then he fights that. But then you have a third one, which you send to the top left, that's going around. And then you go into the base around the same time so you bring this in uh, you go for the refineries so we go for the refineries we just get to AI at the moment so if he had refineries you can, and then put this down straight away and as you can see you're at four harvesters build another one and you can even start building another refinery at this point obviously the war factory refinery would be here you just aim it down with these flame tanks and that's how you uh, flame tank rush with black hands and that's how you get economy back so we didn't really, you know, put us, and our economy is pretty good. Anyway, time to go do this against a real player, and we shall see how it works. Welcome back to part two. We are against Impact, a good friend of mine. Um, we are doing the flame rush strategy. So we are gonna, oh, sorry, I'm going to show you how to do it. So yet again, we're against Black Hand. So, sorry, we're against GDI. So we're Black Hand, so he's probably gonna scout us with a pit bull or something like that, or if not, we we should be okay. Even if he does, we still go flame tanks. So we just go down up here. So three scouts, one to the right, one to the left. Even if we're against Scrin, we do the same thing. Just remember, this isn't great against any nod faction, really, in theory. You still can do it, but GDI in any Scrin faction, any GDI faction. And again, put our refinery down, get that harvester going. Okay, so the scout straight from the middle. We gotta stop the scouting. We gotta stop this. Fire it down. This up here. Um, okay. No way, what? That is random. Okay, that shouldn't have happened, but you do you. Not sure how that happened there. So. One harvester here is going to kill the scout now. And then straight into flame tanks, kill this. And then 
Cabal here. Cabal here. Well, there's the pit bull, so we gotta aim down this pit bull with the cabals. If we can sneak a flame tank out, it'd be great. So if we can sneak one flame tank out. So we see it come in like the last time. Maybe here. And then maybe he doesn't know the timings. Move our MCV now. Let's send this flame tank around. Now what we do is build one more flame tank onto the left. Sorry, down for the middle. Use the cabals. Okay, he sees it. So we keep the flame tank. And now Reckoner. Put this down the middle. Guard it with the cabals. Send this to the left. Another harvester. Get the reckoner out. Get this out. Put this in here. And then what we do is send this down here. Build another refinery, just like we did last time. Even it's scouted, we should be okay. So what we do in this situation, that's why it's good to do it against a real player, because he's stopping it. But it's good to show you, just keep the flame tank alive, keep the reckoner here. So we can get that reckoner to the left, bring this in here. Okay, don't let the reckoner die though, you can even bring it back. Got three harvesters. Then attack that there, bring this in. Another harvester. And uh, there's one refinery down there. And we have this from the back. Bring this over here. And that is how you surprise the mofo. So go near the MCV, get that refinery there. And as you see, just too many flame tanks to deal with. And we keep going harvesters here. Kill this power plant. Put these over here, start attacking this refinery. With the reckoner here. More harvesters, got five on this field. We want to start transferring some over. Keep attacking that. Uh, now we get a put a put a barracks down. Some infantry. And that's pretty much how you do it. This is the follow-up. And then we go secret shrine. One more harvester here. And then we're gonna follow up with like he's still got so he's not dead, he's still got money for a refinery. So out these here. And then we're gonna follow it up. This is a good build against GDI I'm giving you. So we follow up with lots of infantry, three barracks, some Kabal's rockets. He's wasting time with them harvesters. We got three harvesters on the expansion, five on the main. And we just wait here. We're gonna move our MCV a bit forward here, because we've not built a second refinery yet. Kept them alive. Sell one of these barracks, pack this back up, start them in the refinery. Take that there, and now we're going to push with all this infantry. And this is a really good build for Black Hand, it should really help you, it's not showing that. Start selling some towers as well. And that refinery is in a bad position for him, we can just aim that down. And this is pretty much a follow up to the flame tank. And this is a really good build for any map in the game, pretty much. Refinery down. Uh, one more harvester now. And then second MCV into tech. We're not going to get to that point in the game because he's very, very dead. You see these pitbulls coming up. Just aim down this refinery. And then pitbulls are going to go down. Keep one barracks alive now. So the other one. And GG, that's how you do it. That is the uh, Flame Rush into Infantry. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.